today we're going to start a free-to-play series, something I've never done before on this channel. Like, I've played, you know, free-to-play before, but not an entire series, not something I've committed to. We're gathered here today to talk about my good friend, Beanie Senpai. Beanie, say what's up. Hey guys, how you doing? It's me, Beanie Senpai, it's as he Beanie. just said. Yeah. Excited for this free-to-play journey. There you go. Uh, I wasn't going to do this, but Beanie convinced me, talked me into it. Beanie and I go uh, quite way back when I first started streaming on Twitch. He was like the first or the second guy to ever come through and start talking to me. So we go a ways, ways back. And now he's convinced me to start a free-to-play series. We're going to do this together, he and I. <laughs> yes, we're going to do this together. I remember those days, man. Saw you streaming, thought I'd hop in, and look look at us now, years later. Years later. Convincing yeah. you to hate the free-to-play <laughs> grind. <laughs> it's interesting because there, uh, was a, there was a discussion I had with um, Gavin and Tavish about being free-to-play or actually being like a end game player someone has been playing for five years there's a there's a huge mm -hmm. disconnect between where i am now and what i was five years ago as a raid shadow legends player so i think this will this will be this is going to bring me back to my roots and i think it'll oh, be okay. fun okay. to to do this with you but Vini, can you tell my viewers um about yourself what you bring to the raid shadow legends community <laughs> or what you what you can bring i should say um honestly so you know my relationship with raid has been very hit or miss you know i love the game mm -hmm. but i feel like sometimes i just get lost in where to go and how to how to progress and i feel like a lot of people and a lot of things i've seen on youtube are like just grind this dungeon and yeah. then that's it and for me like that makes sense but it's really not enough like how much speed do i need you know what uh thresholds am i trying to hit to progress like which gears am I trying to re-roll and things like that? What can I bring to raid? I mean, <laughs> I'll give you a funny answer and a not okay. funny answer. That's you know, I'm a black guy. You know, oh, not many god. black people playing raid. I feel. Oh know? my god! <laughs> yeah. He's turning this but, to a race thing. <laughs> yeah. no, no, I mean, just outside just... of that, like I don't know. I think I'm just really full of energy. I'm very mm -hmm. fun, very energetic. Love talking to people. You know, reply to all the comments, there you go. all the likes, and I really am just excited to be part of the raid community. I feel like whenever I have played red and red, whenever I have played raid in a guild, I feel like it's been very like friendly. People are always out there trying to help you, and you know, I, I love the community honestly. And I'm just looking to meet more people that also play raid and hopefully build some type of community on my own. Yeah, the community within raid is probably the number one thing that has kept me playing this game for five years now uh very tight-knit and it's just i just realized kale is holding that staff very sus like he's just and, <laughs> anyway um <laughs> <laughs> well yeah great community here and uh, i'm excited to have you part of it because i i personally think you know because I've, I've seen guys i've seen beanie stream for quite some time he he came from, you know, smashing through the Souls games like it was nothing. And, uh, you know, he's got great energy about him and he's very entertaining to watch. So I'm excited to see what he brings to uh, the raid community. Definitely go ahead and I'm going to link his stuff down below. Check him out. And he's he's promised to provide raid content to you guys. So definitely yes. keep in touch with him. And uh, I'm pretty sure this is not going to be the, the last time I have you on my channel. I think we're going to start doing this, this collab. Because the point here is we do a free-to-play series. Mm. And we do this together, step by step. What are your expectations of me as a quote-unquote veteran of Raid? So I think the difference is... So I've played through the beginning quite a bit. And I think I have a general idea. But I think... What's the word I'm looking for? Like... Uh, you'll be able to do things more efficiently and understand like what to do, what gear to get. So I think as I aimlessly am kind of doing the quests and the challenges and stuff and like just doing some, you know, oh, this gear looks good. Mm -hmm. And on your side, you could be like, oh, no, that gear's trash. I'm going to just, you yeah. know, sell that and move on. So I think the it's going to come down to those things. And like, I, 
maybe I'll be able to get to clan boss easy, normal, but I think getting to hard and nightmare and all that other stuff, I think you're going to have the upper hand getting further into the game. Yeah. And maybe at the beginning, it's a little more even. Yeah, definitely. I, I think um, it's it would be nice to to have somebody to, to guide just to kind of keep myself on my toes to refresh myself and keep myself more grounded. Um, so to all of you watching, this is going to be a free to play guide, free to play journey. I'm going to be giving all the advice that I can think of. I have a, uh, a notepad here with a bunch of advice that I've accumulated, or I guess knowledge that I've accumulated within raid, some, some genius, big brain advice. And this is going to be a free to play journey. I haven't decided when. But I do intend to give this account away once I get it to a certain Ooh. level. So stay tuned for that. I don't know. Being for you giveaways? Know, what? I will also give away this account. Just to <clears throat> you know, give a free-to-play legend out there a nice you account. Go. We both grind. Two giveaways. Yeah. So I think would be, be nice. You know, I don't know how long this is going to go on for or what our benchmark you know, milestone that we're going to achieve. I don't know. I've seen some people be like, okay, once once I start one or two keying UNM, then I'll give the account away. Other CCs are like, oh, once I reach know, uh, Hydra, that's when I'll give the account away. But the point is, at some point, we're not keeping these accounts. We're going to give them away. So stay tuned for that. Correct. Yes. All right. <clears throat> so here we are at the opening Ooh. screen of Raid Shadow Legends, the Arbiter is telling us to choose our champions. Now, yeah, do not make the same mistake that I did. When I first uh -oh. started playing Raid, I chose Gaelic. Gaelic. He's I, cool though. He he looked cool, right? I, I thought, okay, yeah. this guy looks cool. I'm gonna choose Kale or I'm gonna choose Gaelic. But don't choose Gaelic. I think the best way to go about this is choosing Kale because he has poison on the A1, it's a baby poison, but on his mm. A2, he also has, or was it his A, no, his A3, his A3, he has poisons, which is really good for the dungeons, as well as clan boss, he'll be doing more damage because of those poisons. He also has A2, which hits hard, increases crit rate, or if it crits, it increases your turn meter rate by 15%, so you'll be smashing through time. the waves. Um, actually, let me let me back up and break it down for for, for people who don't understand. Because I talk about this and I I talk about it, but uh, it sounds like it makes sense to me. But I realize somebody who's new might not understand it. Mm. Kale will help you kill. Kale will help oh. you win alive. A lot of people within rape. <clears throat> Is that? Can I say that? I don't know. So, from my experience, I think when I look at Elaine, mm -hmm. I, I've never picked Elaine. I've never picked her. I, I know she does some crit stuff, but that's whatever. I've played Gaelic, and Gaelic's awful. He's just <laughs> so bad. I feel like I struggled so much to kill yeah. most things or to get through dungeons. And I feel I've played Aethel, and Aethel honestly wasn't that bad. I feel like I can get through a lot of the story with Aethel, mm -hmm. and I can do some clan boss stuff. Like, I feel like I didn't really struggle as Aethel, but when it comes to Kale, that poison, mm -hmm. doing all that extra damage on Clan Boss, that extra bit of damage on the waves, you know, you're already doing a lot of damage, and then the poison ticks when you stack them. Yeah. It's just like all that extra damage just gets you through, especially when you get the lifesteal gear on them. Like, you're just able to pretty much solo most of the things yeah. with Kale. So, I, I agree. Kale is clearly the best. Yes. And, and Ga Gaelic and. El Hain is just they're just they're just trash. <laughs> I'm sorry. I want them to be good, but they're so bad. <laughs> <laughs> I know um yeah, I I've used uh I've chosen Aethel a few times. She does the multi-hitter and she does mm -hmm. the weekend on the A1. So she's pretty solid. Elaine does do AoEs and she can smack hard if you build her properly, but it's still not gonna overcome what Kale has to offer. So for that yeah, purpose, okay. we're going to be choosing Kale to start out this journey. Wait, I, I have a... Just a random thing came to me. Okay. You're the veteran, right? Yeah. You're the you're the big boss. 
I say we don't pick Kale. Oh, I just show. show. I just chose. Oh, you. <laughs> just, just. <laughs> no, no. This is why we can't have nice things. Okay, <laughs> okay, we're picking kale. We're picking kale. Yeah. Choose. Click that juicy choose. So be it. And then if you care about the story, then, you know, obviously look through all this. But you're basically going to click through everything, and we'll talk about all this. Right now we're in the summoning portal, and we're yeah, doing summoning my summon up. I got archer. Wow. I, got, I think everybody gets archer to begin with. Yeah. <laughs> click battle. Yeah. Takes you to the campaign. Showing you how to go through campaign. There's a story. If you care about the story, there's that. I'm going to let it play a little bit. This I'm right in the here way. talks about affinity. Oh, are we on the same page? We should probably, I should probably wait till we're on the same page. All right, hold on. I'm in battle. <laughs> going to battle. Click, click. Boom. Okay. Here we are. Effective, neutral, ineffective. Yeah. So I actually like this system because it's... You don't need to not necessarily pay attention to it. It tells you exactly what it is. So your champions within raid are going to have on the bottom left right here an indicator to talk about their type. So this Pokemon right here is a grass type Pokemon and this one is a water type. And over here it'll show you that grass beats fire, fire beats water, and in the middle is a void meaning completely neutral, meaning you won't do more damage, you won't innately do more damage or less damage, it's completely neutral. So if you were to bring somebody spirit going up against somebody magic, there's going to be a negative affinity. So when this champion is attacking someone who has a better affinity, you're more likely to hit weak and not place debuffs. On the other side of that, if you attack somebody who is force affinity, then you are more than likely going to hit strong and do more damage and place buffs. So keep that in mind. It's a pretty fun concept. Uh, for uh, <laughs> for all my newbies out there like me, I just look at this. You see these arrows on top of the heads <laughs> right here? You see these, these yellow arrows? <laughs> yellow means neutral. <laughs> Green means good. Hey. Red means bad. <laughs> That's it. That's all I know. And it's, uh, you know, it's probably better to know all the things he explained, but for me, that's 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 as easy as it gets. Yeah. Yellow neutral, green good, red bad. <laughs> oh, all right. I'm gonna go through and kill some people. Oh, one. So here's one more thing to note. Yeah. Actually, yeah. <clears throat> on the top right of some champions, you'll have what's called an aura on the top right, right here, and it shows that when you go into battle sometimes you're going to have a stat boost so right now we're pointing <clears throat> so right now we're pointing at increased ally hp in all battles so depending on where you are where you're trying to go into the game it helps to have a champion that provides extra stat boosts because why not it could be a game changer as well what you do have to note right here is it says all battles there's going to be some characters that only provide boosts in some battles. Uh, um, for example, extra HP in dungeons only, or extra speed in arena only. So keep that in mind as well. All right, now mm. let's go in, click start. Oh, I see what you mean. I saw the arrows too. I see the arrows yeah, now. Yeah, that's, that's all I pay attention to. Kale's but... really good for his A2. It's yeah, AD. as you guys see, I'm clearing these waves instantly look at this already done victory oh, all right man, let's look at our free weapon move. yeah that's right newbies unite we can take on the veterans <laughs> in this game all right so i believe after this we kind of collect and um pretty much just equip this new sword we got yep. which gives us extra stats so down here you can see the plus four on the bottom right to attack let's get out of here mm -hmm. And let's go let's go battle the next the next level yeah, let's, let's show them what's up let's, let's let them know let them know all right so we're gonna go through again i at the bottom left you have auto battle and you have times two and info for for us newbies us free to plays i would suggest leaving auto off right enjoy the game get used to what your moves do and your attacks and and really get to know your champions i throw the times two on though because you know we got shit to do <laughs> 
but right, also if you hold uh, right click, you can actually see what the, the abilities do. So, attacks all enemies, fill the turn meter by 25% for each one killed, etc. So if I attack, you see I killed one, my little turn meter boosted up. Boom. We're gonna kind of just run through this. This is pretty simple. Yeah. Just use the abilities, see what they do. You got the poison there. Oh, okay. I'm just choosing the wrong people to attack. It's fine, it's fine. There we go. On to uh, the next level. Use our big boy. Boom. Use this one. All right, and we're done with the second level, too. And look at that. We got to level up some gems, some energy max. Let's go oh, yeah. back to the Bastion. <clears throat> you know what? Can I actually have yes. you... Um... So that I, I keep track of where you're at, where you're at. Mm -hmm. Can you share your screen with me so I can see where you're at? So I can we can oh, stick yeah. together. I'll just follow your pace. You yeah, sorry, I'm kind of all over the. Place. Nah, nah, you're good. <laughs> ADHD right, so... kicking in. You're good. You're good. All right, so now we're equipping the helmet here. Yes, throw on the helmet, mm -hmm. which gives us the aura boost, right, or the set uh, boost. The set I don't boost. know. Yeah. The set boost. So, there's gear within raid that provides different types of boosts. This is a life set, which gives you extra 15% of HP. There's other sets, gives you more speed, ignore damage, etc. That kind of thing. And okay. then we can upgrade. Okay. Oh, In wait, what? I forgot about this. What? I forgot that you don't do instant upgrades. When you start out, you have to slog look, through. Look how far you have fallen to the free-to-play world. <laughs> <laughs> what? I forgot about yeah. this, dude. Welcome. Welcome to the pain. Yo, Arbiter's All right. like, you're going to get an extra 2% crit rate. Like, <laughs> what am I going to do with 2 crit rate? Okay, so here's some uh our logins. Um, I'm going to collect these boots. Mm. Four star boots. Actually, let me right, gonna... let me note here. If you haven't seen the video, I'll link it down below. But I talk about being able to save your login rewards, specifically your login champions. Now, why would you want to do that? In this game, it's all about aligning everything that you can to be as efficient as possible. So Rathalos mm. right here, you get him. But you could save him for a CBC event, which is which is a clan versus clan event, where you get a lot of points. 30,000 for new champions, new LEGO champions. And then if you wanted to save it for a champion chase event, which is 500 points in a tournament, champion chase tournament, you could do that too. And the way to do that is to press L. When you press L, you're automatically taken to your uh, daily quest screen and you can do something here. It doesn't matter what you do as long as you're doing something. So you can go back here and you can go ahead and do um, stage three if you want. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to start doing stage three. Throw it on auto. And then I'll show you guys that you don't actually collect the rewards. And that's how you, I guess, what's the word? That's how you uh, prolong. prolong. Yeah, that's how you hold off the rewards so you can save it for when you want to pull it all right so i think at this point yeah here's all the raid you know money grabbing but we're free to play get this off our screen <laughs> yeah, we, we don't want to spend no money so i'm gonna do uh, a few things real quick i'm just gonna collect some of the reward stuff here and then i'm gonna tell you how i normally go about the beginning of the game and then you can give your veteran advice on top of that okay so I'm going to go click off. The, I don't know about you guys, but I can't stand all this red stuff on my screen. All these red dots. Yeah. Get this off of my screen. I must we click. So, okay. One thing is, okay, so here's something I know. For this 60-minute energy refill, if there are bottles of energy, you can take them. And um, for the daily one, though, you want to take it like right when you're about to end the game. Because as you level up, you get more energy or Per level so you want to hold off on this until the, the as late as possible but let's keep going we're gonna go to this free reward down here and we get free rewards for logging in click out of here 
click on this. You know, sometimes it's good to just click on all this stuff. Mark is red. We don't care. We're just clicking through. Daily login rewards. Look at that. 20K. We're rich now. <laughs> <laughs> we have all of the money. There's an Ar call of the Arbiter series. So I believe these are YouTube videos you can watch that give you things. Yes. So if you... Um, um, if, let me actually click on there too. So you can watch the series... And when you click it, you can share the trailer. If you watch it, you get some extra rewards. There used to be um, codes that you could get and put in and get rewards for, but those are no longer in effect. So I would still go go about taking all these rewards at some point whenever okay. you want to. So this is like just a free 100 energy. So that's yeah. going to be 100 no matter what. I mean, I'll just show you guys how to do it. It's pretty easy. You hit share, uh, hit copy, and then you click off. Boom free rewards you don't even have to really share it yep. all right they have given you the sauce guys all right but we if click you do off click, if you do click on the video then you don't even have to watch it you can get up the free silver also you just have to click the play oh. button the youtube play button and there you go yeah. so now i'm going to go to my daily reward stuff we're going to collect all this good stuff and look at that we just leveled up okay so now let's go to the challenges mm -hmm. and take this so here's my way to get through the game um is through the beginning is so we have these things called challenges and we have some of these are like the the keeps those i don't worry about i don't worry about the arenas yet until we unlock those the champions you'll get eventually the the things i pay attention to are these ones the completed campaign using four champions at level 20 or higher that's one that i keep in the back of my mind and then I go to artifacts and I use this one. Mm -hmm. It's like win three weapons from clearing stage one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, mm -hmm. and then equip an HP set. So for me, when I go to battle, I can easily do that through the first my first run through. So I know I've gotten one from each of these. So I can get two more here, two more here, and then three, three, you know, whatever the numbers were. And then we get this nice champion unlocked. And then on the second one, the sewers, we get this life HP set, which would finish the rest of that, the tasking. So, and then once we do that, we unlock the next set. If we go to our missions, um, there's clear seven, they equip a champion with six artifacts, and equip a champion with four artifacts, level four or higher. So this one's tricky. So there's actually a mission or a challenge under artifacts after this one i believe that says upgrade four pieces of equipment to level four yes. and if you do it right you can actually do them at the same time so that you're not upgrading four pieces of equipment and then having to upgrade four more pieces of equipment later yep. and now you're upgrading you know equipment that you don't even want to use you're just doing it for the challenges and the missions mm -hmm. so i really try and get this these artifact ones done first and i will save the missions to upgrade this level four or higher until later because as you guys see even though these two are locked like equip a champion with six artifact we still get credit for them now that's not for all of them but we do get credit for having them upgraded so same thing and as you go you see you know, equip a champion with four life artifacts. We know we get the free six from the second uh, place of the story. Um, and then we upgrade them right here with four of to level four. So technically, if you get to this mission, you can equip the six artifacts you get for free. You can upgrade them to level four, which will yep. take out most of your task at the same time. So you're not having to continually upgrade different pieces of equipment all the time that's kind of what i focus on at the beginning is trying to get them to match up yeah um definitely on on the nose there when you first start out in raid one of the best things to do is to focus on your missions and your challenges and you can actually align both of them up to be as efficient as possible so for an example as he was saying in the artifacts section it says win three weapons from the k-rock castle on normal Note, it says normal. There is a difference between, so if you happen to blast through the um, the campaign and you're on hard or brutal already, you would have to come back and do it on normal. So keep that in mind. Try to get these done at the same time that you're naturally progressing in your missions as well. 
but what he was talking about also is very good. Keep in mind which champions that you're going to have to equip specific sets with. Here it says equip a support type champion with four life artifacts. How do you know who's support and who's attack? Well, you click on champions. And on the top right, under the name, under the stars, where it says rare, or you're looking at an uncommon, it'll say if they're an attack based champion Ooh. or if they're a support type or an or It'll explain if they're attack or if they're support or defense, and that's how you know that. And how do you know what kind of set? Well, it says right here, set up top left. When you click on the piece of gear, life or offense. <clears throat> so just keep that in mind. When you're looking at the missions tab, look as far. Take, take the time to look at every mission, because the further out you look, you'll notice that there are some things that you are more than likely going to come across and you're probably going to want to keep that in mind to be as efficient as possible. And one of the things that I, I would note is, uh, like you said, upgrading specific artifacts to a certain level. If you happen to upgrade a bunch of gear to like level 12, you're still going to have to come back and do this again. So keep that in Ooh. mind. Try to set the pace and keep it together. Um, here's another one. Win one of each type of lifesteal artifact from the Valdemar straight stages on normal. If you already went through it, guess what? You got to come back and go through it all again. So you have to line everything up as best as possible. And um, ascending a champion to level 3 is another thing. Early on in the game, they're going to tell you to ascend a champion to level 3. You're going to have to come back and do that as well. And uh, so, yeah, just keep looking forward keep looking ahead try to have that foresight and properly plan and prepare for all of these another one right here this one kind of bugged the heck out of me because i didn't know towards the end it says uh artifact mission equip two attack champions with level 12 gauntlets boots and chest plates with attack percent as their primary stats later on you're gonna have an artifact um <clears throat> later on you're gonna have an artifact uh, challenge that's going to ask you to do something very similar to this but the requirement is it needs to be like three or four stars and above so you're going to want to make sure you're you're keeping that as well um, more notably the attack percent so going over gear very quickly there oh i don't have gear to show uh, <laughs> that's right the free to play struggles for the gauntlet and the boots and well let me explain so here's the gear this is where you equip your champions and everything. The top left, or the top row, the top three rows are always gonna have the same main stats. You're always gonna have flat attack. Your helmet is always gonna have flat HP. Your shield is always going to have flat defense. And then the sub stats, which are the stats below it, are always going to vary. The bottom row, the bottom three row, the gloves, the chest, and the boots are the ones that can vary between percentage stats versus attack flat attack stats generally speaking you don't want flat attacks it's going to get complicated so i won't go over the the asterisk point but just know generally speaking you want stats that are or you want main stats that have percentage stats on them attack percent defense percent um boots generally especially early on speed so that's a quick aside when it comes to gear but okay yeah. Did you have i will movies? say that if the, you can set it up if you do it correctly um and you you're like these missions are pretty simple right and the art of or correction the challenges are also pretty simple mm -hmm. focus on the artifact one pay attention to this champion one too yep like some of these are lucky but there will be one where you have to summon five champions upgrading a rare epic or champion skill you'll get these books a lot but this one here is one that you can miss winning a campaign of level 24 champions of level 20 or higher. There'll be another one that's level 30. There'll be another one that's level 40, yep. etc. The champion and artifacts are the ones you want to focus on the most, in my opinion. You can do the dungeon one whenever. Like eventually you'll get to the point where you're sweeping the dungeons and you'll knock these out pretty, pretty easily. Same thing with arena. Eventually you're going to go in there. And you're going to be able to knock out most of these without any problem. But the champion and artifact one, you want to make sure you're paying attention, like we said multiple times, to the missions and artifact 
uh, challenges because if you line them up correctly, like some of these that are like, let me scroll. Um, all right. Well, most of these are like beat them three stars. You can do them as you're going, so you don't have to go back. And there'll be one that's like equip a champion of level eight or higher gear. But if you do it correctly and you go to the challenges, there'll be an artifact that also says equipped, you know, eight pieces of gear to level 12. And you'll be able to knock them out at the same time. So you really want to focus on knocking these out in order. There'll be another one later that's like upgrade your champion to level or to rank four, four star. Yeah. But you'll be able to do that with the actual uh, challenge instead of doing it early and missing out and having to redo another champion to rank four, which I've done yeah. before. So don't yep. make my mistake. Yeah. So follow along. I think I think you're right. The champions and the artifact tab, especially the art the artifact. Follow that first before you follow your missions. I think like the priority mm -hmm. should be the challenges. So you just so you don't have to go back and then um, then follow along with the missions after you're you're done with the artifacts. So artifacts, yeah. check it, and then do missions. But okay, um, so following... Oh, we should actually change our names here, up top. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's change, let's change our names. Okay. Oh, wait, this is a picture. First off, I'm not an old man. Like, why did they do me like this? <laughs> Look at the picture they gave me. That's Taurus the Fierce. He's the, like the, the, my, one of my favorite Legos. Yeah, who am I even gonna... Who am I feeling... I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm going to be this big boy right here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I believe... Wait. How do you... Oh, player info, change username. I'm going to be baby dot burrito. I'm going to be... You said baby dot burrito? <laughs> yeah, baby burrito. Baby burrito. Uh, I'm going to be just to... I'll be Baby Beanie to, to show the love. There you go. Baby Beanie. I should have put Beanie Baby. What is wrong with me? Oh, you could, oh. You could go back. You could do it. You just I can't it. edit it. You can, you can edit, change your name. It's going yeah, to cost gems. Nah, it's fine. It's not worth We save our gems around here. Yeah, we We're save We're free to gyms. play. There you go. Um, On the quest tab. So every day at... On, on my time, it's either 16 or 1700. The daily, well, it actually says the timer here, but it reset it resets every day. So what you want to do is make sure you're doing your dailies. I mean, yes, do your dailies every day. Try to do your weeklies and your monthlies and your advanced quests that you don't unlock until level 35, apparently, <laughs> that I forgot about. Yeah, see, look at this guy. But yeah, so I will say dailies are easy. Mm -hmm. It does take a while, but look, you just upgrade... F uh, make four artifact upgrades attempts. So you just literally go and level something up to level four. Yeah. Beat a campaign boss. You can go back to any of the ones you've beaten and just go clear level seven. 50 energy is easy. Summon three champs. You'll have plenty of green gem shards to do this. Exactly. And then you get a nice little look at all this free XP you get. You get some potions, some money, some gems. If we go to the weekly tab, the reason weekly is so good, you get this nice ancient shard. But look at these. You get this. X or mm -hmm. you get some uh, stamina Energy. here, some more stamina here, some bruise, some XP. You get this XP for a day, which increases the amount of XP your champions are in battle for the grinding. Mm -hmm. And most of these are pretty easy. I mean, you'll if you do all the dailies, you'll you'll do the fifteen or the twenty five champion summons. If you do the dailies, you'll beat the boss fifteen times easily. Mm -hmm. and you can easily upgrade one to level twelve. Getting the rank to level four seems like it's hard but it's actually fairly easy yeah. ascending a champ will be easy once you're clearing the dungeons and then obviously complete the daily quest five times i mean as long as you're doing your dailies you'll knock out the weeklies i would go into monthlies but this is just harder <laughs> like that's yeah. there you go but um, you do get this nice sacred shard oh yeah and and um, avoid yeah the the dailies you're gonna get to the point where you can knock it out in like less than five minutes so it just you just got to get into the rhythm of it, but yeah, it's not that hard. Weeklies, it's just you're naturally doing it. Monthlies are a little bit different. Uh, most notably, the win campaign battles 500 times, that, that takes a while. So mm -hmm. 
that's one where I actually have to like go out of my way to make sure I'm getting done. And then uh, actually, I just realized for free to play players, yeah, rank five, a champion, is going to be rather difficult. But yeah, if you play for a month and and you you can get all these rewards, but uh, the other thing I want to take time to talk about is having the right mindset when you come into raid. Mm. Don't burn out. You got to take your time to appreciate the game for what it is, because uh, mm. there's there's no other game currently that's doing what Raid Shadow Legends does. Um, so take your time to learn everything, every champion, every dungeon, and if you are serious about raid and and playing the game and connecting within the community, take the time to learn that. You're not going to have a banger account. You're, you're not going to be doing Hydra and, and Centranos and all the end game stuff um, in a couple of days, not even a couple of weeks or months. Like the game isn't designed to be that way. They're going to give you a lot of stuff in the beginning, make you feel, give you that dopamine hit, make you feel like you've you're, you've made strides and milestone progressions, but then you're going to start hitting a wall. Usually around like level 40, 50 is when you're starting to feel mm. like, okay, things are starting to slow down. I'm starting to feel some resistance. You're going to feel stonewall, and um, yeah. just, just know that that's part of the process, but that's also part of the reward. It took me five years to get my main account to where it is today. Jeez. And I'm still not like... Like I'm I'm balls deep in the end game, but I'm not even Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I'm in it. I, I can't stop it. Raid Shadow as yeah. Gavin Gavin said, Raid Shadow Legends is the mistress that, that it's the toxic mistress you can't stop seeing. Man. I don't know if I love Raid yeah. or if I'm addicted. But <laughs> just know that it takes time. Don't burn out. If you want to play for like five minutes, that's great. If you want to play for five hours, that's great. But you can choose your own pace and you can choose how long you play. Um, it, this to me, this is kind of like Dark Souls in, in a sense because mm -hmm. there is content in here that becomes extremely difficult to do, and once you do overcome that, eventually, then you have this big like, "Wow, I did that" type of thing. Yeah, because you 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 play the Souls games, you played Sekiro. Yeah, it looked yeah. easy when you played it, but like, what do you what do you think <laughs> about what I just said? I think. I think that makes a lot of sense. Um, I think when you first start playing this game, you're going to have a lot of energy. You're going to have a lot of stamina potions mm -hmm. coming in. You're going to be able to play as much and as long as you want. And eventually, you won't be able to do that anymore. So I think it's good to pace yourself early so that when you... Don't, like, you know, eventually you're going to have only 300 stamina. And if we go to battles right now, just, you know, the first one, these are four. So you're going to run... You know 10 20 of those and you're going to be out of stamina and yeah. i don't want you to get to a point where you're like i want to play the game but i can't and then exactly. be like maybe i should just spend money we're free to play yep well um, on this account i am uh yeah free to play for life we're free to play yeah All free, right. free to play, free to play. Um, I'll, I'll say one more thing or two more things and then I'm, I'm done here this video getting a little bit long i think but <laughs> there's one more thing that i think we should focus on is you're going to get a tournament that you're in your first tournament that you can be in and i believe first place gives you an ancient shard second place gives you some gems and all that you want to do as well as you can in that tournament because it's just free stuff you also get some speed gear you also get another uh three star rare champion and i believe you get a free name change and some other stuff but that first um tournament you want to do as well as you can in so you want to be grinding up the story and getting three stars doing on your missions mm -hmm. your challenges doing your arena when you unlock it but um, you can get some really good stuff in that very first tournament so the, the missions quests missions quests, challenges and that tournament should be your very focus at the very beginning yeah 100 percent uh before you do um, sign off before we end this yeah. promo codes it's a big thing here if you click on the Ooh left side you can go to what it says where it says promo codes yep. now right now oh that's right right now i have a list oh all give the us promo the sauce codes that are currently available right here now you are limited to one promo code a day i don't know if um if a lot of these can be used how do, how do i say this um like, so a lot of these codes are for new accounts only, meaning within 72 hours, I think. 
Right. I don't know how many of these codes you're going to be able to use, but one of the codes here that stands out we have to use is because uh, okay. like I I just I, we, we have to. It's it's a no brainer. We're, we got Beanie. Okay. Beanie, look at me. Okay. Beanie. I'm looking at you. Beanie. I'm looking. Beanie. I'm looking. Are you looking? Yeah. I'm Monkey, looking. I'm staring. Monkey King, bro. Monkey King. Monkey King. It. Type it in. Monkey. Okay. So I will say King. this before we type it in, before we type it in, okay. I do know how it works. So within 72 hours, mm -hmm. there's um, new player promos that give you a champion. So I believe there's this one. I think there's one called Mordecai that gives you a Mordecai champion. Mm -hmm. There was one that was Dinkin that gave you him. Deacon, yeah. You can only use one of those per account within the oh. first 72 hours. I did not know that. So if you use Monkey King, you can't use the other new player accounts. Damn. Well, like here, I'll show the list on my on my end. And I'll, I'll say them out loud just, just for you. Um, Oh, so all all the all the promo codes as of January fifteenth, twenty twenty four, power mm -hmm. start. You get Talia superpowers. Mm -hmm. You get Deacon. Uh, mm -hmm. Deacon's a pretty good one. Monkey King is the one we have to do because he's just an insane legendary champion. Links in the description for the videos I've done on him down below. Godspeed <laughs> Apothecary is a great rare champion to have, especially Ooh, progressing. Apothe but you're gonna yeah. naturally pull him, so I wouldn't worry about him. Mordecai. Okay. You can uh, click for gameplay. That's the, the, the promo code. In fact, I'm going to send all these promo codes to you and then you can put it in your video and then you can, you know. Oh, nice, nice. Want. But uh, I'm going to list a few more here. So click for gameplay. You get Mordecai. My turn, you get Allure. Allure is a great champion, especially for Fire Knight. It's Alive mm -hmm. gives you Frankenstein, Miscreated Monster. And uh, there's a bunch of other ones. I'll, I'll send it to you later. That sounds yeah. good. So we're going to do Monkey so... King. We're going to do Monkey King. I will say that there are other options as well. Like, I believe, um, just really quickly, I think Mordecai is really good uh, with burns. So that's good mm -hmm. for, you know, fireball, stuff like Spider. that. Deacon's just, oh, really good. But it, we're going to take the, le the, we're going to take the expert's opinion. And we're going to type in Monkey King. Yeah, just like that. Exactly. And, and the reason we want to take that also is because this is limited. This is... There's going to be a point where you can't you can't get him anymore through oh, okay. a free means. Like you can still summon him right. because on my main account I have but two. But that's you know, where the odds. But now we have we got him our, on this account, so whoever we ends have up our taking, Monkey King, exactly, we have a Monkey King. So whoever ends up and taking our accounts is going to have SWK. That's right. Some and if you look point. here, you see the promo code limit is reached. We try again in 23 hours 59 mm -hmm. minutes. This is from whenever you put the promo code in. Now there are other promo codes you can get. They're just not the free to play um ones and what, what i mean by that is you can't get new champions anymore so but the other ones that give you stamina xp uh auto battles money gems you can use those every all the time but the ones that we use for the first 72 hours we're done and to claim him um you can click on your little thing up here and, and as here you can hit collect now i will say i'm going to collect everything but the monkey king just to show that i'm learning from an expert here if you wanted to wait till cvc yep. to claim this legendary champion you could then get all of the points for the legend right i um i collected mine already and What's... now i got too excited but yes that well, i mean for the most part for most people probably watching this if they don't they don't know what cvc is cvc is you, you join a clan and you can get a bunch of points for receiving him uh and yes generally speaking yeah I'm, I'm i'm a little baffled right now because i i messed up and i collected him too early i was like i should have i should have waited on beanie first to drop this knowledge because i could have gotten a free no but i'm, I'm gonna points. collect them anyway i just wanted to give the knowledge you know because when are we going to do cbc when are we going to be in a clan yeah probably i think we're gonna we should make our own clan probably Bro, and you know that's... anyone who's also on this free to play journey feel free to let us know how you're doing. Yep. Let me know if I missed anything or if there's anything that you like that I talked about and, and you know, all that good stuff. We're going to collect, though. You know, yeah. we're not going to leave Baby Burrito out here on his own. Collect go. our champion. Let's we go look it. at him. There yeah. he is. Look at him, boys. Yeah. I have a whole list of knowledge to drop. So when following videos, we're going to go through everything. Um, one thing I do want from you, Beanie, is... So, so the way this is going to work is we're going to be playing mm -hmm. our accounts um, separately uh, on a daily basis as well. And mm 
Uh, oh, actually, let me let me show you guys this. I want to show my UMI decode in the top left of the bastion. I want to show my my UMI decode. This is what it is right now. And the reason I point so this I out is because I want you guys to know that this is going to be the same account that I am starting with as free to play. And I'm not going to be tactically acquiring an account <laughs> through other means. This is the UMID code. So in the future, when I give the account away, or because I don't want I don't want people to be like, oh, you know, are you, are you for some reason he code? shows up. He's got a mythical in his account now, and he's yeah. free to, like, no, this is it. I'm just uh, so lucky. I'm How do so you lucky. show that code? Oh, go to way. the top left. Click okay. on your picture. Uh huh. Scroll down to info. Yep. And oh, here it right is. There. there you go. There you guys so, see. Legit. Um, but there what I did is. want to say, Beanie, is when you do come to a crossroads or like a difficult area within your game, that's when I want to meet back up again. So anytime you have trouble, just uh, let me know so that we can we can talk through the process together because I think that would be the best way for me to help free to play players with the knowledge that I do have. And uh, yeah, I agree. Yeah. Also, and, uh, uh, I usually hang out in Channel Zero, so keep that in mind. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going to be, uh, you know, uh, trying to push these out, you know, a couple times a week um, mm -hmm. and just show you guys little progressions, little things I'm doing. Probably not going to overload it. I don't know how often I should and should not do it, but the next time you'll see me, I'll probably be somewhere further along down here. Maybe I'll be done with the normal story. Maybe I won't. I'm not sure how often you guys are going to want to see this. Um, please let me know down below um, your journey and if you're starting a free to play with us, um, if we missed anything and all that good stuff. Um, but, you know, I'm excited for this journey and uh, free to play, you know, members yeah. unite. We're going to we're gonna take on the, the raid. Hell yeah. I'm excited to. Yeah. All right. Take on the world of Intellarian. We're doing That's it. That's right. We're doing it. We're doing, we're doing it. it live. We're doing it live. <laughs> All right. All right, Beanie. Thank you for your time, bro. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate it, man. You have a great day. You too. Catch you on the next one. Peace. See you.